<coughs> basketball. We love that basketball. Basketball. We love that basketball. All right, T, I know you told me to stop doing my James Brown um sound, so I ain't gonna do it this time. I'll just go, ooh we we love that basketball. Ooh we basketball. We love that basketball. Is that better? I didn't do that. Ah. <laughs> okay. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, y'all. Okay, Laker Nation, I want to jump in right away saying that let me help Frank Vogel out a little bit, okay? Because although I know you are a great defensive coach, I know you did some wonderful, sweet things when you were at Indiana. And then I think from Indiana, you went to Orlando. I think the guys just quit on you. I believe that's what happened. I'm not particularly sure, but I believe that's what happened. But let me give you um, my opinion about how you should run this just for a little bit since your guys didn't play at all during preseason, so you really didn't have a chance to look at a bunch of lineups like you should have been able to do. Um, but I don't know... If you could shake, I think you should shake that lineup a little bit. And I agree with some that say we should try uh, Carmelo, LeBron. Okay, because Carmelo or LeBron like to have the ball in his hand. And then put Anthony Davis in there as a uh, three. Uh, and then put uh, um, Dwight Howard. And the, as the five, because he's a little more active. So who put him down there at the five? And you need another uh, 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 four. So I don't know who you're going to put in there. But that should be a core of your starting lineup right there. And then run that for a little bit and see how that lineup looks. Because you can't do it with, uh, I think that Kent Bazemore is a better suited for the second unit. And then you need somebody to fire up that second unit. And the only person... Is that's like LeBron on the floor is West, Russell Westbrook. So he would have to come in on that second unit and take the Monk dude, take the Baysmore guy. Because, uh, you know, when you come from a losing culture like that, Kent Baysmore went from where? Uh, Washington to Atlanta? Or was Atlanta to Washington? One of them. But Baysmore seems to be better suited for a second unit. I mean, I just want y'all opinion. Tell me what you think. Because the Lakers lost last night after winning by so much. And I think that that's just basically on them. But, you know, LeBron didn't play. And just tinkering with that lineup a little bit, to me, might bring um, a little bit more consistency. And if it don't work, you know, you can always go back to what you're doing. But you're going to win some games like that. And just let Russell play the way Russell played with that second unit. Let him be Russell. But on that first unit, why don't you try LeBron and Carmelo together? AD at the three. Um, or the four. Three or the four. It doesn't matter. I, I think yeah, and then you, but you got to put Dwight Howard in there at the five. He got he's an active body, and um, you know he can he run the floor. And I'm not saying that DeAndre Jordan doesn't, but um, Dwight Howard has been known to play some defense. So let's just see what he do down there, down low. Let's see how he you know work. I don't know. Maybe I'm just reaching. What y'all think? What y'all think? And I know there's no excuses for losing that type of a league. And I'm not, I mean, lead. And I'm not saying that that's why. But I was just looking at the game last night. And um, it seemed like 
that could have been an area where they uh where they can you know swap some stuff out. I don't know what y'all think. So that was it for the Los Angeles Lakers and the Thunder. Ooh, another good game was Miami <laughs> and the Nets. Now y'all know even though I like Antetokounmpo for the Bucks, um and I like their chances. I like our chances of uh you know being right there. Uh Miami is a team you better look out for. Um, because they are in, 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 in they are in this East a uh, kicking ass and taking names. And so and then they got took PJ Tucker from us and he loves playing in Miami because ain't nobody trying to play in this cold weather here. Once they get up out of here, they'd be like, oh, oh. So he's going to he's rejuvenated again just to get out of here. And, you know, he won a championship. So I, Miami is a team to watch. And so is Chicago. And I hate to say that, y'all, because I know we still the team to be. We are the champions and all roads go through us. But in the East here, I think we better be uh, mindful of those two teams. And people saying the Nets, yeah. And we don't know what's going to happen with Kyrie. So, as an indication, and the way they're calling these games now, you know, um, James Harden is going to have a hard time getting his points unless until he adjusts to how they're playing these games. He's not being able to do that um, and jump into people and have that call. So he's going to have to realize um, and practice doing something else in place of that. Um, and he's a good enough shooter that he'll figure it out. But that's why he's a little off rhythm right now. And so I'm not concerned with that at all because they still got Kevin Durant, and he's unstoppable, in my opinion. But I do want uh, those of us in the East not to get complacent and think it's just going to be a cakewalk with the Bucks because it is not at all. Okay, who else played last night? Oh, I forgot about the Clippers, who are one and three, and they uh, were stomped down last night by uh, Cleveland. Cleveland got Ricky Rubio now running the car. Um, Clippers, 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 um, one and three. Mm, I don't know what y'all think about. The Clippers, because I, you know, they, you know, like I said, this is very early in the season. I just don't have a lot of confidence in them. I really don't. I don't have a lot of confidence in them, and I think they'll be better um, when Dwight comes back. Otherwise, they just have to. Uh, I mean, um, uh, I said Dwight. I mean, um, uh, Kawhi Leonard. So, but last night that was a kind of boring game, but they lost. The Clippers lost to Cleveland. So that was one of the games that I saw yesterday that I just kind of got bored with. What about y'all? Did y'all see that game? And what was y'all thoughts about it? Again, all in all, the East is definitely, um, you know, what y'all, a lot of people consider the, uh, 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 the slow conference. But I still say the champion came out the East this year and they had to beat the champions from the West. So we'll see who gets to hold a title this year. Those was not too many games I was interested in. Those was the ones I get, did get a chance to check out. Um, and like I said, I wasn't too impressed. Tell me what you, what you think. What about the Suns and the Kings? I did not get a chance to see that game. If anybody saw that game, you know, let me know. Was it a good game? I can, you know, go back and watch it, but nah, I'm, I'm very, very interested. And the sun's going to be right there. As long as they got CP, they're going to be right there. You don't have to worry about them. Um, so I'm not, I wasn't too interested And the, the Kings are a pretty good team, but, uh, I don't know how high they're going to go in the East cause they got Memphis and they got little Ja will be forever. Love it, 
<laughs> yeah, he's a good player. Tenetrius. Anyway, with that being said, now if y'all like what you hear, please like, subscribe, share my channel. Um, this is old school uh, 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 talking sports here. And I like the baby boomers to chime in with me so we can have some of these conversations about some of these old school players that um and 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 just how we've seen the game evolve. Everything that's happened with the uh new school game is not all bad. I like a lot of the advances that the league has made. Um I like that the game is faster. I do like that y'all don't get y'all head bashed in so much because I done watched a whole lot of fights. And was it worth it? Look at all those stitches that Isaiah Thomas took across his eye. And when you look at him now, you see that big old gash. I'll be like, dude, I remember when that happened to you. Who was it that hit him? Um, well, that's neither here nor there. Or Norm Van Leer getting up, going to grab a chair. You know, coming on the court with... <laughs> No, I don't miss none of that because, you know, those were short of assaults. Rudy Tom Jonovich getting his lights turned out. Maurice Lucas, you know, so there's a lot of advances uh, in the game that I do like. Although I know it's a physical game, uh, some of that stuff was just a bit much. So, but anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think of any games I missed last night. Y'all, um... Let me know below which was a good game, exciting game. All right. So I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.